Hey guys, what's up? Brandon Miller here, back with another vlog. I am in Costa Rica, as you can tell by the amazing scenery, and I'm standing beside a lake that is rapidly draining. Why are we draining a lake? Or actually, this is a pond, it's not a lake. Uh, why are we draining it? Well, because my uncle owns a fish farm, um, and what he's done is he put some tilapia in this pond right here, and he's had them in there for a couple years. Uh, they've gotten to a decent size, so what he's gonna do, he's gonna drain this down, we're gonna come in with nets, scoop them all out, and take them over to his concrete tanks, where he'll then sell them for people to eat. So this should be an interesting episode, something a little different. Uh, so hope you enjoy. Let's do it. Here we have the Amigos. You probably, you probably know these guys, if you've seen any of my videos. There's Rod. There's Eric. What's up, Eric? Nothing much. What do you think about this, Isaiah? It's gonna be good. It's gonna be very good. As you guys can see, the water's already drained here. You can see all these ripples out here. These are all fish that are starting to congregate. There's a very low spot right there, and that's where all the fish are gonna congregate. The water's still going down. You can see all the birds are in here uh, feasting on stuff, so we gotta hurry up and get these fish out of here. Right, guys, check this out. That's all fish right there. There's some big ones. Alright, take that. Now what? Uh, can you handle it? Good? I'm picking up the leftovers. I took okay, the leftovers. Slowly, 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 okay. slowly. We're gonna have to get two boxes here, okay? Get another one. There's one right here. Some of these bags. Hey Dwight. Eric, how are we doing? Great. What are you doing, sorting? I'm sorting, grading them from five inches on up to uh, on up. So Okay. It's kind of interesting because they, they like to jig you, so you got to get them from the bottom. Oh yeah. And, That's uh, kind of time consuming. Yeah, you just got to take your time. I'm kind of a slow green guy here. <laughs> Here, the here. All right, guys. Uh. What'd you say? Hold it up on the barrel. See, man, it's too cold, I can't do anything. Hold it out there. All right, guys, we are done. We sorted all the fish. We put them in the tanks. We let all the smaller fish go in the pond to repopulate. Uh, it was a great time. I am filthy, as you can see. The other guys are out there swimming. So I think I'm going to go join them. Thanks for watching this episode. I will see you next time. Oh, 
but wait, that's not the end of the story. The next morning I woke up and my thumb was really, really swollen and it hurt like crazy and I was like, okay, maybe uh, one of the fish's spines poked me or I got some dirt under my fingernail. I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. And about lunchtime, I started seeing red streaks going down my thumb, so I was like, okay, uh, this is not good. A couple hours later, the red streaks were up to my elbow. Uh, and so we're like, my parents are like, okay, you have to go to the doctor. And I was like, well, I'll just go tonight. I was going to town with some friends anyway, so I was like, I'll just go tonight. By the time I got to the doctor, the red streaks were up to my shoulder. What it was, was a staph infection. It was actually pretty serious. The doctor said if I were to let it go for a couple more days, it could have gotten very serious. It would have got to my heart or even to my brain. So it's a good thing we caught it in time. Uh, and what it was, it was, it's a skin infection that people get uh, when they get spined by fish. So I was very fortunate uh, to catch it in time. I took some strong antibiotics, got a shot in the rear, and uh, I was good to go. So there's a little disclaimer. If you ever guys, if you guys that fish, if you ever get spined by a fish and you see that area start to swell up and you see red streaks going down your arm or something like that, go to the doctor because fish's spines do have bacteria that can cause a major infection. But I am none the worse for wear. I got over it totally good. So I'm very thankful for that. Thanks for watching this episode of Brendan's Fabulous World of Fishing, and I will catch you next time.